Well, I got the great actress Deborah Foreman with me, and she's been she's we're gonna prepare, we're gonna show April Fool's Day, uh, Waxwork, and of course, Grizzly 2, which was made right before the release of uh, Valley Girl and all that. But this is just uh, it's just an honor to talk with you, man. Thank you, Keith. Nice to meet you. Oh, me, nice to meet you. And yeah, it's just like, wow, I'm talking to Deborah Foreman. But <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, so we're going to show uh, uh, a 30, yeah, like I said, April Fool's Day, Waxwork, and Grizzly too. What was that? So um, I know that just came out before Valley Girl and all that. And you're thinking, oh, I hope I do good in this movie and all that, you know? And Val, uh, you know, because Grizzly 2 has George Clooney in it and a bunch of other people. Right. Yeah. Um, I just was an actress getting a role. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's really, and yes, I wanted to do a good job, um, obviously. But other than that, I think I was, I was also excited to go to Budapest. <laughs> oh yeah so, yeah yeah so, exactly um, and i had to audition like five times for that role before they finally gave it to me yeah um and then um and i only had a few things under my belt i had done in the custody of strangers with martin sheen and Emilio oh, yeah. oh yes and, and i also was the maybelline i i had been working for maybelline for five years so i had i was in all the teen magazines too at the time so <laughs> I had a little bit of, I had a few credits under my belt, but not many. Yeah. Um, but but the most exciting thing for me, for me personally, was to go to Budapest and <laughs> just to see the country. And my grandma got to come out and visit me while I was on that set. And I just, that's what I remember the most. Yeah, I tell you what, man. And then leads in to Valley Girl, which we all love Valley Girl. Thank <laughs> and, you. Yeah. And uh sorry, uh, Nicholas Cage and uh, Elizabeth Daly and a bunch of other good stars. What was the difference between Grizzly 2 and then uh, Valley Girl? What was the difference in that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. production-wise, I didn't feel there was that much difference. Like we had a few more perks, obviously. Oh yeah. In, in Grizzly Part Two, because it had a bigger budget. Mm -hmm. But when you shoot in another country. It, it felt it felt kind of equal, honestly. In my yeah. my opinion, it, it did. It felt equal, I'll, although I had more to do in Valley Girl, so I was on set more right. than I was on set for Grizzly Part Two. That means right. in, in Grizzly Part Two, <laughs> I had more time to go and and see the countryside and and go oh, yes. go taking go take little vacations, mini vacations, while I was in Budapest. But Valley Girl, I was so busy, I had no time. Yeah, at all. I was working every single day, but I think they were similar. Uh, I worked with, I mean, for Frederick Forrest, that was from Apocalypse Now, and yeah. you got Colleen Camp. She was in Apocalypse Now. You got Nicolas Cage, who had done Rumble Fish. You had, um, I think that was Elizabeth Daly had done some beautiful work prior to Valley Girl. Yes. So, um, and has continued to do beautiful work, beautiful work since Valley yeah. Girl. I just saw her a couple of weeks ago. So. Um, yeah, I saw that. You saw Elizabeth Daly. Yeah. Yeah, we were at a con together. Yes. I had I had so much fun with her. So much fun. <laughs> so then um you uh you're in Re Real Genius. Right. Which, which I love that movie. And Thank you. yeah, and it's just like and, and then you start in uh in uh, uh my chauffeur in okay. 1986. Okay. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, you're a little more seasoned with your roles, weren't you? Yes, I think that my instrument was becoming a little bit more effective for me. I could just I readily use it easily, more easy, I guess, is, is what I want to say. Yeah. Um, I think that my chauffeur brought out my funny bone. I just, I was so tickled to do that role and to play that character and to work with Sam Jones and David Beard. Uh, oh, and every yes. every day was such a joy to go to the set and all you did was giggle. Yeah. So, and then the pace of that too, 
added a lot of energy to that role. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed myself thoroughly. And also April Fool's Day, which oh, yeah. was around, I actually did a lot of these films like sort of back to back April Fool's Day. I think I shot just after my chauffeur, not many months later either. Right. Um, so yeah, I had a really wonderful streak there that I, a, a wave, I think I was riding a, a beautiful wave. Well, yeah, because, you know, what, uh, April Fool's Day, I mean, they had a great cast to it as well. Just, right? like, just like, you know, it's just like, wow. And um, what was your memory about April Fool's Day? Uh, because you're, you're getting to be, uh, you're a good actress, and now you, you got a little bit better as you moved on. Um. I had more challenge on that one than all of the films I had done because I was playing two characters. And those, yes. oh, yes. those, those two characters had to be completely different. And I was told that by Fred Walton. He said yeah. in, re in rehearsal, if you don't make these two characters completely different, that this film is not going to work. And so I was up for that challenge. If someone is going to, you know, say that to me, it's like, <laughs> I, I, I'll, uh, I'll rise to that. I'll rise to that occasion. Thank you very much for lighting a fire underneath my butt. <laughs> um, I loved it. I yeah. loved that one a lot. Um, I, in fact, that cast to this day, yes. are, there's still some of my favorite people. We still keep in touch on Instagram a lot. And I saw Amy and Deborah at Chiller at the beginning of this year. I think April, around April, I got to see her, those two. And yes. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Daly like two weeks ago. So, and I'm going to see, be seeing Zach Galligan in uh, uh, December. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah. Doing, I'm very busy this year. So, <laughs> Zach Galligan and I was we were in waxwork together. So I'll be, yes. I'll be seeing him in Spookula. In uh, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's in Florida. And it's called Acala, I think. A C A L A. You know, oh, I'm, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. It's not meant to. You know, I'm not meaning to. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going to show wax work, and what, and you got to start with uh, Zach Galligan and all that. What was the memories about that movie? Okay, so the director said, well, he actually gave us T-shirts, and and forgive me for my French, but on the T-shirts, it said, <laughs> it said F art, let's party. So and it, was, it, and it was written out. So that that was kind of Tony Hickok's uh, his sense of humor and his approach to directing right. and making films. And so it was. It was kind of a party set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you have so much. There's so many memories that you build out throughout your career, and I didn't realize that uh, you're a great photographer. Thank you. I, I, yeah, I, I was like, how'd you get into photography? So Elizabeth Daly and I used to be roommates back in the, in the 80s, just after Valley Girl. Yeah. We became roommates for about a year, and I bought a Pentax camera, the kind that has the uh, the film that you rolled, right? Yeah, and yeah. I think, I think the lever was at the top. Yeah. And so I started taking pictures when, at the age of 21, and... Wow. Um, I think what happened is uh, there is this theory that when you spend 10,000 hours or 10 years, you go from great to genius. And <laughs> so I, I haven't really gone to school for, for photography, but because I've been doing it for so long and, and I've been on sets and I, and I actually, when I watch film, I study how the camera is right. more, more than anything, not acting. I actually study the camera and how they, they've lined up the shot. And I don't know, I just, it just, it's, it's, it's in my bag always, my camera. If, I, if, there was a, if there was a fire, I would get my dog and my bag that has the camera <laughs> in it, and I'd be out the door because it's just a, it's like part of my arm. So I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. So what, um, so have you had your pictures shown anywhere or? I mean, I've made a couple of books. I've yeah. published a couple of books and yeah. then. I sold, I, I guess I'm official because I have sold my prints online Wow! To, to some people. One guy bought everything. It's like, whoa, dude, that's cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting it. I just put it on Instagram. I'm like, you know, my prints are for sale. And they bought it. I do landscape. I love, I, I mean, I've taken pictures of people, but there's so many photographers that can do that so much better. And yeah. yes, there's, there's so many, there's photographers that can do 
landscapes better than myself too, but landscapes, I love landscapes and wildlife are my thing that I love to take pictures of. Right. Um, and then uh, and experiences. Anywhere I go, I just take a picture just to show it. I like to tell the story. So I, I tell it from the beginning to the end. If I go on a trip, an event, one of these screenings, like I'll do that for yours. Yeah. For that, I'll do a little um, video where it's it, it's filled with video footage and then it have, it'll have some still shots in it. Um, that I'll put together. It's just, it's fun to do. I don't know. It's, it's, it's being creative and that's what I am. Every pore, every fiber and, and nerve ending in my body is creativity. Yeah. And that's just my outlet. I love it. Yeah. And it's just something, uh, taking pictures is something you can just relax and, yeah. you know, relax. You don't have to deal with uh, anything with society or acting or anything like that. You know, it's just, something you have fun with yeah and, yeah so yeah. and to tell and to tell a story that's that's what I want to, that's what I'm trying to do each shot sometimes I'm not not as effective but that is the goal each shot I may I take is to tell a story right yeah absolutely so I've had so many people ask is Deborah Foreman going to be at Slash and Bash and I said, yes, she is. She's going to be there. <laughs> and I've had like like 10 people say, is she really going to be there? I said, yeah, she's coming. She's going to come out and show, uh, uh, you know, uh, real uh, April Fool's Day, Waxwork, uh, Grizzly 2, and all that. And they said, oh, my God, we're coming. I tell you what, this... Um, what are you going to just bring out? I mean, I know there's a bunch of, you. they can sign anything they want, except for body parts, but you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, uh, what, do you, uh, what do you, uh, what are you bringing out to sign and all that stuff? So I usually at these cons, I'll, I'll bring a number of photographs from each and every film. Yours will be uh, primarily April Fool's Day, Waxwork. I, I don't have any process of grizzly part two i don't right. i have a, i have a couple shots that are just in my camera <laughs> i mean in my right. phone but right. i don't have i don't have them processed um and you know i have i and also if people this is also nice too people can bring whatever yes. they want me to sign if they have their own memorabilia for me to yes. sign i'm happy to sign that as well yeah because that's you know People say, uh, well, can we bring stuff? Yeah, you can bring whatever you want. She's right. happy to she's happy to sign it, you know. But yeah, it's just like, oh man. But I tell you what, I've had so much response uh from you coming out. And people, you know, it's just like, wow, she's coming. So yeah, yeah it, it, it it's so much fun. And we can't wait to have you come out and join Slash and Bash this year on August the 26th and the 27th at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. And with such a pleasure even to, uh, to meet you. I can't wait to, to meet you in real life and all that. It's just an honor to talk with you. Thank you, Keith. That is so sweet. It's very yeah. sweet. Thank you. I mean, there's Tom Matthews is going to be there as well. Who's oh, yes. Amazing, amazing actor and oh. has a beautiful body of work. Uh, even now, he's he's still you know hammering it out. So yeah. um, there's going to be some really beautiful people that are going to be there, uh, uh, shoulder to shoulder with some really great people. Yeah, I tell you what, and uh, you, I think you're going to have so much fun, and people are so excited to come out and meet you. Thank you. You bet. And Deborah Foreman, thank you so much.